Thank you so much. Very good morning to everyone. Um, I'll try my best uh, being the new kid on the block uh, with a recently launched uh, our beauty business, beauty app, which is Startup Click Palette. Uh, what I will try and sort of uh, uh, spend my time on uh, in the next 10 to 15 minutes is mostly focused on uh, what we are trying to do, uh, basis, uh, what we are seeing as new way of shopping, new way of buying from the consumers. Yeah, so um, first uh, I'll just sort of try and establish, uh, this is very sharply focused on beauty as a category, uh, but some of the elements are common across multiple categories. Um, so the idea is when we uh, thought of entering into beauty as a space, uh, as a group, uh, we uh, looked at various aspects and what was changing in the buying behavior of consumers. There are three or four very large call out uh, large problem statements we were trying to address and uh, which is where I'll sort of spend some time on terms of what kind of solution that we are providing. First and foremost, uh, after having uh, some of the vertical players in the beauty segment who have uh, solved the problem of authenticity, availability, selection in beauty and personal care space, uh, the biggest problem consumers were facing was around um, uh, what is it for me and what is best suited for me, which was all pointing towards uh, personalization. The question she was asking was, uh, I know that uh, there are multiple products available, there are multiple content available uh, in the uh, digital ecosystem, but she wasn't sure of what is best suited for her. And this was uh, also sort of pointing towards uh, the intrinsic nature of beauty as a category, which is uh, very high on trial and error. Uh, it's like an unrewarding cycle of experimentation. Uh, you, know, you don't know what is best suited. You try out multiple products and then one fine day you hit Eureka. Yeah, this is the product that works for me. And then all of a sudden you hear, uh, now the world is moving from uh, Ayurveda to certain type of ceramides and higher ceramide and then, uh, then uh, brands start launching products with snail mucin. Uh, which is a continuous advancement in either on the scientific side uh, or on the research side. We are trying to uh, uncomplicate this for consumers. That's at the core of what we are trying to solve. Also, um, second, very, very critical and I'm sure that all of us are seeing this in our business. The importance of content in the buying journey. Uh, this is based on some of the data points that we were working on. Uh, almost 30% uh, plus of all beauty buying in the financial year 21-22 initiated through a content consumption. And this is uh, people like you and me following YouTube, follow, uh, YouTube influencers, Instagram and various other medium. And almost 90% of all buying in the beauty space had at least one content touch point. Uh, which, uh, which could be pre-buying, while buying, post-buying, it could be how to use video, what is best suited for me, uh, what does uh, a particular celebrity follow, which brand she uses and so on and so forth. Uh, which is the second sort of big sort of change that we saw in terms of uh, buying behavior. Uh, this, uh, this is the second problem we are trying to solve for. What was currently uh, the various solutions that were available for consumers where we started creating a lot of content. It is available through various platforms, but it was left to consumer to sift through, search through and find the best content for her. So uh, you have all of it is available, but it was not uh, personalized to every single individual, not for my type of skin, my type of hair and so on and so forth. And second is, uh, there was no uh, way in which we could classify the brands into different category based on uh, what do they offer in terms of what ingredients the products sort of have uh, and what uh, efficacy uh, uh, claim each of these brands have, uh, what is the genesis of this brand, whether it's a sustainable brand, green brand and so on and so forth because consumers were looking for those options. Those uh, led to a lot of uh, sifting through various options, the selection was becoming more and more tough. 
and uh, and the final one is there is no uh, straight linear journey in buying anymore it is across the board uh, especially for beauty it is extremely non linear uh, not in, in uh, not uh, just in digital uh, beauty being a category which is very high on touch and feel uh, very high on education customer also expects to have some bit of offline experience where they can visit the store uh, touch and feel the product uh, also get to learn how to apply certain product what works for their skin etc so this whole complexity uh, is what uh, was the core of the problem that we tried to solve uh, with some of the latest uh, digital technologies that were available at the time and some bets that we are taking how we will uh, position this as a differentiated offering to consumers uh, so basis the uh, current uh, sort of uh, requirement from customers we said there are three large areas that we will be focusing on uh, one is on personalization uh, which is what i uh, talked about here what we are doing is um, we are going very deep in understanding the uh, consumers uh, to know about what is their hair type what is their skin type uh, what uh, region geography they belong to uh, what brand affinity they have uh, what preferences in beauty buying they have this is all uh, captured uh, with various different interactive tools we use some amount of ar vr to capture this uh, some onboarding survey based questionnaire which is highly gamified and some are uh, slightly implicit which is based on her browsing behavior on the platform what she is buying what she is browsing uh, what content is she connecting with uh, what she is liking and how she is commenting uh, which influencers and brand she is following these are all taken as input based on which uh, we have built the algo to recommend the right products and right content to the consumers which is highly focused on personalization second is content and i'll tell you why this is uh, extremely critical for consumers to take decision on uh, and how we have uh, sort of looked at it we have sort of created this into a hierarchical structure at the lowest level we are uh, providing the capability for consumers it's a user generated content uh, consumers who have used a certain products uh, and also are consuming some content they share their input i bought this product and this product works really well for my skin and also explaining a little bit more about uh, her skin type or hair type which is the lowest level one level higher uh, and which is where our previous uh, speaker was also talking about is the importance of uh, bharat india is not like one homogeneous country and especially on the beauty space we have realized there are uh, really highly valued micro influencers in this space across the country and they create content which is highly uh, useful uh, relevant for consumers for that small geography that small cohort and she could be based out of siliguri in a certain language she'll create that content how do you showcase that content to customer which is most relevant for her and which is the second level what we uh, do is we'll bring all these uh, influencer created content onto the platform we have a method of sourcing it uh, and we create uh, multiple tags which tells us what language what region what kind of content and then map it with the consumers so that so that uh, we are able to showcase the right content to the right consumers uh, one level higher uh, is our uh, brand partners and our in house content creators uh, these are all the beauty brands who are creating some wonderful content it is about their brands and also beyond uh, about the study on different ingredients that are currently working uh, where uh, the world is progressing towards what are the new launches uh, how to use when to use and so on and so forth uh, which is the third level of our content and the highest level is the uh, authority in the space we have a uh, few cosmetologists dermatologists uh, uh, country and world renowned uh, makeup artists who then share uh, their way of doing things uh, this is like how we have created the content and this also sort of uh, helps us in uh, establishing the authority in the space uh, we know uh, how to help and guide consumers towards their journey of beauty and which is the whole thought that we have is we want to fulfill and be that beauty obsession partner for the consumers Uh, this is just going a little deeper giving you an understanding of 
how we are utilizing uh, this data uh, the all the data points that we are collecting from consumers explicitly implicitly through tools and lot of uh, input mechanism at a product level when we onboard a new product uh, our product cataloging is almost like 3x of any other platform purely because we go very deep into the contents ingredients of each product uh, which helps us in uh, showcasing the right product to right consumers and we use this information in two fashion one is on platform where we use all the uh, customer attribute level information and showcase the right content right product at all points in time and basis this also we create certain demography and cohorts uh, this is highly personalized uh, very structured which helps us in uh, creating the right uh, media campaign right messaging choice of target audience cho uh, choice uh, region choice and targeting on the off platform whether it is meta google or any other place we use this information on both the sites so just to sort of uh, going little deeper on this is this is how we sort of translate uh, i'm just focusing here on off platform uh, what we do is uh, once we know what are the different types of uh, cohorts that i created uh, then we break down by category then by region and in that each block that you see 24 blocks each block then has about anything between 7 to 8 different either customer level age age based uh, product based need based solution based uh, different creatives are done and then we use that information to showcase the right information right content right product to the consumers so this is our uh, overall thought process of how uh, we are moving towards uh, using some of the digital trends experiences uh, capability that exists uh, today uh, to reach the right customers uh, be more efficient and also be more relevant to what you are showcasing giving us uh, the right reason to be present here with uh, and sort of that uh, what it translates to is a completely seamless journey so in the previous slide uh, where i was showing you in terms of how you create the cohorts and when the cohort is created for acquiring new customers how does that translate into when she lands onto the platform it is all tied in so we already know that she came in through this particular campaign which was based on a particular cohort so the personalization on the feed page is done exactly we know where she is landing from what product she has seen which cohort she belongs to everything in the journey is uh, adjusted to that whether it is our home which we call it as a feed page then the search get personalized basis uh, the brand preferences that she has uh, and then the recommendation everything is based on that particular cohort that we have created uh, if we have um, say for example we have used a mac uh, consumer consumer who loves mac products and specifically on makeup belonging to a certain region and certain age group that will completely follow through which will also help us in sort of uh, uh, understanding what are the associated adjacent brands that we can showcase to her let her know that these are the brands also work really well if you're using this product and showcasing the content created by that brand at right point right relevant point which helps us in ensuring the customer comes to the platform even without commerce as a reason so being a platform of both content and commerce that's a huge advantage a uh, customer need not come to you even if beauty is a high uh, frequency purchase in a year uh, even if she purchases six to ten times we would want her to come to the platform every day because we'll have a reason for her to come to the platform every day and that's how the whole journey is designed whether it is a discovery stage or consideration stage buying stage or post buying so that's our take on what we are doing and thank you happy to take in any questions thank you so much